What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and sorry about the lack of uploads. Um, try to get back into it. I know that's how that last video, but I haven't been playing scrolls that much. And as you can see at the top right of my screen, it's it's looking pretty bad. Not 1797 rating. What am I like? Probably out of the top 25 on the ladder. Yeah, I'm at number 29 on the ladder. I haven't been that low probably since like a day after the ladder reset. I can I just continue to lose matches with every faction I try. I'm blaming most of it on luck. But I know I probably my skill probably went down a little bit because I haven't played like twenty four seven as I used to. But I'm gonna try to get back into scrolls a lot more again. But um I keep losing with everything. Now I'm gonna try my energy structures. I continue to lose with all these decks. I know energy was just nerfed, so it's a bit happy about that. I wouldn't have to face that all the time. But I still face it all the time and power chip is still pretty good. I do think they they really need to nerf bombard to uh four cost. Because it's still pretty tough. I've tried order with the Neurosa Bean Potion. It's just overwhelmed by energy. Energy is still very good. So I think. I, but I've been getting some pretty good success with my structure deck. So I think I'll just stay with that. I mean, it works. Structure deck. It's hard for non energy range to take it down. It still does, though, if it gets the well timed uh, power trips. All right, well, here we go. Bad you, you. Good luck. And that's the like seventh match in a row. I start second, but at least this time a good starting hand. I can go hard smuggler, and then I'll be able to go storm or divinator. And decay. Well, I guess structure energy is pretty good against decay as well. So I'll certainly take that. I'll take. I'll second Salt Giant. I'm not gonna draw a new hand. I know Mulligan's in live on the not live server. Well, it is on live server, but it has been in testing grounds. Now it's in ranked as well, which is really cool. Um, I've been using it a little bit, but even with that, my luck has gone down the drain the past few weeks. Um, all these guys are pretty good against DK. Well, I think I'll just sack this smuggler. Though. I mean, in a Smugglers actually do better than ranged decks because then you could just continually draw one specific structure. But but I mean, there's still good creatures on the less than a structure deck because you're still just gonna draw a scroll every time they hit an idol. Now worst case scenario here is he has a soul steel or a languid. Both would be pretty annoying. Okay, boy bear, I can live with that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and play the. Storm Runner. Maybe I should have sacrificed the um, Akamaton instead of that machine because I'm to use it on this. And there's the language, so. And double language. That's annoying. Um, I'm gonna select the Akamaton, just play a Ether. Pump or a mortar. I'll play neither pump. I want to keep the storm under lab because he can be. He can help with if I get a mash into the right time. I already sacked one. So I think Chester Energy will, be, will have a nice time defeating Decay. Hopefully this gets my winning streak going. I mean, a lot of people have fallen ranked though. Like, the number one on the ladder is only 1920-something, which is really low than it used to be. I think Mojang really needs to ease up on the Raiden Decay. It's way too much right now, I think. It shouldn't be happening that the ladder is going down a little bit. I always thought the Raiden Decay should just be for players that aren't active. Like, you should have, if you don't play, like, 
three ranked matches in a week, it should only affect you. I think if it's affecting everybody, it's kind of driving away players from playing ranked, but that's just my opinion. Okay, so now I think I will sacrifice this storm runner. And I'll go ahead and mortar. I'll put you up here. So next turn I'll probably uh machine chant. No point in playing a divinator divinator next turn. Probably machine chant this so it dies. You know if he's a witch doctor. Probably does. He's then thinks I'm actually gonna die. Okay. So I don't wanna see divinators. Not divinators, I don't wanna see Harvesters, uh, witch doctors, or rod eaters this play. I'm fine with anything else. That power trips. Card draw, I think I should take out of this deck. Okay, he doesn't, he only plays, uh, that, so I'm very fine with that. Bombard, I mean. Look at my guys, I have zero attacks, so I'm, picked, uh, I'm fine with sacrificing that. I think I'll just machine chant you and I'm glad he moved up because now I can move down now I know that this can poison something but otherwise two things would be getting poisoned we'll see what he does so hopefully he has no witch doctor or something to keep that thing alive or like double rod eater or something like that harvester too okay is that, is that his whole play and double harvester, ouch. Okay. Now, this is going to damage the harvesters, so I can burn one. I'm going to sack the power trip now. Ooh. Sudden eruption, power trip. I'm just gonna divinator this turn. And that is absolutely it. That's all I'm gonna do. Go on, hit hit a harvester of this. Ah, so close. Okay. So I think I think I'm actually pretty fine now. I will be burning one of the harvesters. And I'll have to figure out a way to kill the other one. I have three bounces for us in the deck, so and I didn't draw any yet, so hopefully I can draw one of those soon. If I can get the ether pump to go off soon again, that would help. Okay, worst case scenario here is he plays something like a something threatening like a witch doctor. Curse monger I could live with. But I have to watch out for like Necrogeddon still. That's still a uh, Hard thing for entry to deal with and structures. So I, I want to hold on to that sudden eruption. Okay. Now. It's getting a little, uh, a little closer to my liking. I'm gonna burn one harvester. Sacrifice a power trip. Play a forge. Okay. So close to hitting that harvester. Okay, so now, I don't think he's going to be able to make his harvester go off this turn. If I can get another burn, that'd be awesome. 
also also be great if I, I have a one three chance of the divinator is counting down the pump and then I'll be able to sudden eruption and be able to kill that harvester so let's hope it's the pump I don't think he's able to kill the pump this turn I don't even think it's possible Decay doesn't have like that many tricks up his sleeve you just have to watch out for like damn curses and stuff Okay. Okay. Now. No. It's the worst scenario because now it doesn't do anything next turn unless I play structure. Uh. Now if I send an eruption, I mean. Exactly. Sack this. Thunder Surge, I think, even though it's a nice card to have. Darn, I really want this to go off. Okay, I think I have to Sudden Eruption to kill the Oblivion Seeker. I know that might make the Harvester go off next turn, but I can't let this Aether Pump just die, so I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, if that would do three, and then I do plus three, so that's six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's the perfect amount. So, I guess, um, I guess, yeah. Now, if he gets it, a, a damage curse wouldn't work, so he needs, like, a soul steal or something. I'd be happy if a damage curse actually would kill this, that. You down. So, if we guys on separate lines, and I want to have you survive if you can. You know what, yeah, I'm gonna put you down here. So at least he can't, like. I mean, he's still probably be able to kill it. So let's see, does he have. He could return to nature's own side. Does he have a soul steal? If he damn curse, be my guest. Return to nature on his own side, and he's just gonna kill that, I guess. Or is he gonna kill the ether pump? Well, whenever you have, to, whenever they have to return to nature on their own side, you know it can't be that great a play for them. Okay, so he is gonna kill the ether pump, I think. Fine. I mean, I should be getting another sudden eruption soon enough. And he's ramping up. Is he gonna play anything? He could be going for like a watcher good next turn. No, we can't. He doesn't have enough resources. I'll sacrifice the Canada. I think these mortars are going to be too valuable. Okay. Nice. I got a nice draw there. I'll go with the mortar in front. Move you back here. Diminator down there, and I will move you there. Come on, hit something. Come on. Man, those two languages in the beginning, really. If it's born for the two languages, I think I'd have this game easily. Now it's a little close, but I think I'm still going to win this game. Hopefully he doesn't have, like, a, another brain lice he could put on this with a curse. That would be... That'd be annoying. Now... Man, I really need this win. I've lost so many ranked matches in a row with all different factions. I'm playing every faction. I'm just losing. I really would like to get a win here. Get my confidence back up. I know I have the skills of a very good player because I was able to stay in first place for like a month or two or three. But sometimes matches just don't go your way. Alright, so this guy's a big target, but, okay, um, I'm gonna sacrifice the, tough, tough sacrifice here, Sounds dispersal, all these are tough sacrifices, I'll go ahead and sacrifice the, uh, machine I could use, I could use all these really, 
like my mansion, dude. Burn is nice. Burn is very nice. I think I'm gonna burn this. I'm gonna burn. I know that's there, but I figure that will die soon enough. Um, and I'll go with a Canada. And now I'm going to hope, I pray, this thing can hit something. Nope. Getting more resources and a brain lice on the cannon. Now, interesting you didn't save that for the uh, machine divinator. I should have didn't put that machine divinator, then he could have uh, cursed after, but whatever. And now maybe, what's he gonna do now? Five drop, maybe another life stealer? That could be a pain. I'd like to get rid of that harvester. Okay, another life stealer. Now I think I'm gonna. Ooh, machinated. All right, I think machinated's the uh, play here, so I can kill this life stealer instead of using about dispersal. Um, I'll sack the clock libraries. Where does that may sound? I think I need the other stuff more. I think I'll go with a machinated on you. So that's nice. Now I could actually hit idols maybe later. Move you forward. Maybe I should have saved the machine for that. I don't know. I'm going to go with two machine divinators instead of the ether pump. I know. It's a little weird choice because the harvester's at one health, but. I have the source just in case. Alright, come on. Just hit please. Really? Alright, well. Now yeah, I don't think that harvest is going off this turn. Unless he has double return to nature, that's the only way I see it going off. He's he can't really damage curse uh any if machine damage curse is a machine detonator, his things that his harvester dies, so that's that's good. Happy about that. Okay. If I can get a like like a bombard with a power chip, that could help me like be a bombard. But I think I already have used three power chips or sacked some of them. Okay. So I think that's the play. He's probably deciding if he wants to curse this so it dies or put three damage on something. Let's see what he does. I don't have a match needed, so I don't think it's gonna be a huge deal curses this rather than curse it than like putting three damage in this and then one dies like divinator dies so uh i'd be i mean i know this one already puts it there fine now re i could damn and curse this but at this harvester is just gonna attack so soon ah it's so hard um i don't want to really use a bounce burst on a one health harvester but that's probably the biggest threat that's the problem I'm gonna sacrifice the Fia. Machine chant! Yes! <laughs> so I'll machine chant the harvester. And, I'll, and then I could buy and dispersal of that next turn. And then I will. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Put you down. You down here. Yay! We got a good draw. Come on, just hit something. All right, I'm like over like probably like eight with like more this match.
think we're pretty well off now that the harvest is out. I get a bounce dispersal of that. Which doctor this turn? Two divinators out. But now he's open to damage cursing because of the harvest. He doesn't have the harvester anymore. Okay, so that's dead unless I can get like. Oh, I didn't know he was able to kill all that. Oh well. Um. Hmm. I think I'll sacrifice the cannonetta for cards. I think I'll just on dispersal. Yeah. You're gonna die. Move you down so I have more room to move. Alright, let me nice I'll I have to get my structures back up next turn. And again a mortar miss. So now, I mean, I always have to watch out for the Necker again, but this isn't really a great time for him to do it, I don't think. Does that curse? Yeah. Okay, well, this thing is dead. Would've been nice if it got to attack again, but oh well. Oblivion Seeker, he's getting really high in resources. I've been killing it. it kills a Billion Seeker early, but I'm not sure he can take down the structures because I'm going to put like a couple down next turn. Sorry about those sounds, by the way. Let's see what he decides to do with the curse. Alright, I'm closing this. You guys only hear hear that. It's probably pretty annoying. Sorry. Let's see. All right. Bad you use at your turn. He's probably deciding what he wants to do. If he wants to destroy this. I, if I were him, I'd probably curse one of the divinators. So when you get like a, uh, no, he's destroying it. Okay. Now, ooh, some giant that could be useful soon. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess I could just start killing things now. I'll go ahead and sacrifice. You know what? I'd rather have a. Yeah, I'll sacrifice the mortar. I'll play the ether pump and a clock library. Maybe I should just bounce the first lap, but. I don't think it's be a huge deal. I could put four damage on the what should I do? Let it hit four damage on the clock or the other pump. I'll let it deal four damage to the ether pump. I'll kill that. I'm killing that. Put a clock lever back here. Yeah, I think we're pretty well off now. The two divinators out. And of course you still miss, but I think we're fine. Well, he only has three cards. We can go Solemn Giant next turn, haste him up. Mount Dispersal if I need to next turn. Witch Doctor. Maybe we'll just Mount Dispersal the Witch Doctor. Okay, so we'll steal. Fine. Be nice to get like a sudden eruption soon. But it's not that huge. Oh, speak of the devil. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I should probably just. Just do the sudden eruption now and sacrifice something for cards. Or no. Yeah, why not? I'll do it now. So I'll sacrifice the giant for hearts, but I think the bounce special will be more important. It's not like I'm gonna win soon unless he surrenders. So now they die much easier to a thunder search and stuff. So 
So he can destroy this thing if he wants. Which I say, fine. Come on. Hit something for once. So we can destroy either structure here because this thing is cursed too. He could be coming back from this game if he has like a Necrogeddon right now. But then, and I just use another sudden eruption so I would have to top deck like my one thunder surge in this deck or something. Probably already sacked it. Probably have one more thunder uh, sudden eruption. Nice to get like a burn. I want to get rid of both the life stealer and the witch doctor. And he could be playing another witch doctor or a harvester this turn, which which would also be threats. Okay, it looks like he's trying to destroy this. Not a bad idea. Doesn't want to get in the card draw. But is he gonna be able to kill it this turn? Okay. That works. Now I hope both of these divinators use their thing on this so it goes off this turn so I get all the cards. I could make it go off this turn. Come on, please go off. Yay, didn't hit that. Okay. Um, and we got a burn and a sudden eruption. Wow. Uh. Let's see. I think I'll burn this turn and I could just sudden rush in next turn or something like that. Or I could sudden eruption because the ether was going off, so I kill everything except that witch doctor. Alright, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna sudden eruption. And yes. Or actually, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'll sudden eruption. I realize that that makes a lot of husks. But I'd rather see husks than other things. And then I'll be able to burn that witch doctor next turn. The Ethereum's gonna go off again this turn because uh, the, with those things have nothing else to destroy. Not destroyed to count down. So it's looking okay, but he has nine resources and six cards. I'm always afraid of the Necrogeddon. I need to get the structures back up there if I wanna continue to fight in this game. Okay, so. Is he gonna Necrogeddon? He can't now, I guess, because he needs seven resources to be the Necrogeddon was nerfed to seven resources. That's good, I guess. Now, let's see. Two Rod Eaters, wow. Okay. Now. Ooh. Storm is cool. <laughs> I could burn you and bounce dispersal a rod eater. It might not be the best play though. I think I'll sacrifice one bounce dispersal to Echomatons. Eh. I think I'll go ahead and burn and then I have two I can machine chant soon I'm gonna forge I think and then I'm gonna storm runner okay so that doesn't seem too bad 
please, please, please hit a rod eater. Of course, still can't get a hit. S'more has been living like almost the entire game. And he can't hit something for his life. He's been cursed. Okay. So I have a mouse horse line machine chant. So that could help me kill one of these. One more structure. I can go ether machine chant to kill one of these things. And hopefully I can get the ether from skull off again next turn so these things die. But chances of that happening are not that high. And uh, Necro gun here would, would hurt me a little bit. But he would be losing his awesome rod eaters. Okay, that's annoying, <laughs> but I'll just damn and curse one of them. Not damn and curse, mouse dispersal. Yep. All right, or maybe I'll just machine chant the front one and then kill it with the gun auto. Here's the options. I could machine chant you. Kill it. I think I want to kill this too, so I'm not going to do that. So I am going to. Violent dispersal. I'll just mount dispersal. This one, yeah. Now, if I machine chant, I deal three damage too, which would put it closer to dying. But I think it's just, I don't know. I'll go ahead and kill this though. And I am going to play. Oh, what am I doing? I should have kept it there so I could machinate. I'm an idiot. I made a mistake. This is what I'm saying, well, Rusty, I've been making mistakes like that, like, like, sacking in the wrong order of, like, playing the cards and stuff. Okay, so he kills the, uh, the forge. But, this guy's in the reach of that, so he can... Do a nice little machinated. Kill it. Okay. So now, go ahead and machinate you, and then I'll go with a machine chant and forge to kill you, right? Or I can go clock lever forge, but I think a machine chant forge is just gonna be better. So I don't want to sack for resources to get another clock library out, and then I'll go machine chant. And a bam! And watch this hit the oblivion seeker. Oh finally gets a hit. Of course it's oblivion seeker, it doesn't even matter, but at least he got a hit. And now I'm pretty well pretty well off. He has a lot of cards, but I'm I'm continuing to ramp. There's a brain lice. Puts anything out. Like. Either of them's gonna wreck. Okay, now I would like to get a bounce dispersal soon. Bombard. Bombard's gonna have be nicer next turn. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna sack a thunder surge. Is he gonna. Surrender? Maybe. I don't think he's surrendering. Okay. Um, I'll put you right there so I can possibly get a nice. Okay, I'll go double clock lever. I think.
Canada. And I could bombard next turn. I should be able to start winning soon if I can get a Solemn Giant. We just recycled through my deck, which is annoying because I lost my Divinators. So I have another Ether Pump going off. So I could burn that and it would die, but I wouldn't get the card draw. I think that's what I'd rather do. Or I could just bombard and kill a lot of stuff. I think that's the, I think that's the plan. The plan is bombard and kill a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, so I guess I just have to go like that. I know you're going to get poisoned, but well, I'll just put some idle damage down over here. Make it bring everything down to eight. So then my sound giant can go can go to work okay so will that start my winning streak hopefully <laughs> long match but at least I'm over 1800 again first place is at like 1950 or so or 1920 or so not, not that far away only like 100 off I'm just gonna keep playing I think I like that structure energy deck I think it has a Good shot against range energy and decay. I kind of lose to growth. <laughs> but I'm just going to continue trying. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. I'm going to start trying to do more frequent uploads again. And subscribe if you uh, really like my videos. So thanks for watching and keep on scrolling. I'll see you all next time.